My name is Hakan Yusal. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. Breast reconstruction is mainly done for patients who are suffering breast cancer and patients go under surgical removal of the part of the breast or entire breast, one side or both sides. And then those patients, they come to us for reconstructive uh, consultation. Patients first uh, diagnosed by the radiologist and the breast center. And then usually breast surgeon sends the patients to us for reconstructive opinion. So patient comes to us to learn about their options. And then according to their diagnosis and proposed surgery, this can be mastectomy, removing of the breast tissue, or this can be a lumpectomy, removing only one part of the, or cancer part of the breast. So depending on the, what the proposed surgery is, we offer them options. If the whole entire breast is gonna be removed, then we come up with solutions for this to replace the missing tissue. The missing tissue can be replaced with a breast implant, or can be replaced with their own tissue. With their own tissue operation is a little bit more uh, involved because we have to transfer the tissue from one part of the body to the other. So there will be another part of the body will be operated other than the breast. And sometimes we use what we call pedicle flaps, which means that rotating the tissues based on the blood supply to the area or completely free tissue transfer, which means that microsurgically we remove the tissue and the blood vessels and transfer this tissue to the chest wall and reconnect the um, vessels in the chest wall under the microscope to the chest wall vessels and the tissue becomes viable again and shape it as a breast and reconstruct the breast. So these are the basic options for these patients going for mastectomy procedure. Of course, implant-based procedures there are various types of implants in the market nowadays, and those are very reliable, safe uh, devices, but we only use American-made products, and uh, also FDA approved, of course. And uh, those procedures, usually stage procedures, initially there may be a temporary saline field or air field implant above the muscle nowadays that we put under the skin to give the breast volume there and then bring the patient back for a second stage replaced with a permanent silicone gel implant. On going back to own tissue procedures, if we are doing a free tissue transfer, the most commonly used one is DIEP, which is uh, known as deep flap. This flap is based on the abdominal wall, excess skin and the fat, and we basically get an MRI study visualize those little vessels, which is less than 1.5 millimeters, it's a couple of the thickness of your hair actually. And once we know which vessels are good to take, we can harvest them with the skin and the fat on the lower abdomen, like a tummy tuck procedure. But rather than discarding the fat and skin, this time we put this into a good use, bring to the breast and replace the breast tissue. Because breast tissue is soft, pliable, and like a fat uh, tissue, and so this is like one-to-one -one replacement of what is missing from this patient. But it's a very tedious operation, technically very challenging, needs special training in this field, and many plastic surgeons are not trained in this field, so this becomes a subspecialty. And it's a hospital stays involved. Usually our patients, on average, two to three days stay in the hospital. And there's an incision on the abdominal wall that needs to heal, and also the breast needs to heal, so it's a little bit more involved. So not everybody is a great candidate for this procedure, but if they are a good candidate, this is a fantastic solution for their problem. The long-term goal of this uh, procedure is, of course, to make the patient feel satisfied that their missing breast is being replaced. Also what we do post-op, uh, in three to four months, when everything settles down, scars are healing well and stuff, we bring these patients back most of these patients, what we call it a little uh, nip and tuck procedure that with fat injection and so on, we correct the volume, round it up more and uh, give the patient a better shape to uh, make them feel comfortable in their clothing and daily life.